All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the D Oracle channel. And I'm here today to give you your twin flame love reading. The reason why this was on my heart is because we look at our twin flame as a mirror. And sometimes we don't necessarily understand that that particular relationship is saved and respected for the cleansing process that it provides. It's very interpersonal, but in a way where you have to really put down the ego if you want to see genuine and graceful growth from a twin flame relationship. So today I'll be coming through um, with spiritual guidance readings for your twin flame relationship channel from Source. Um, once again, my name is Dr. D. Oracle and many of these readings that you may see me do on here are very general in nature. So if you would like a personal reading, Make sure you reach out and contact me. All of my information will be in the information box right below this video. And please make sure that if you enjoy this video and the readings resonated with you, you like and subscribe to my channel so that you can receive um, a personal notification of when I upload these videos. So today I'm going to be doing the Twin Flame Love Reading. And um, you can pick card one, which is your Rose Quartz. Card two, which is your Bloodstone. Or card three, which is your Clear Quartz. And I'm just going to be coming through, giving you what Spirit has for you um, on a level of your Twin flame where are you at are you in that phase what is it doing for your life what does it need to do what do you need to do to be able to release and let go or to embrace the process of twin flame love so um i know that many of us think that we're already in a twin flame relationship and Personally speaking, I would say that it's very rare unless you're doing like the strictest of spiritual work. Like you're kind of at the end of where you'll really be working with other people and you should be going more into a stage where you are learning how to work with the different facets of yourself a little more. Maybe past lives or maybe some things that, you know, are beyond trauma, okay? So, let's look at the first card. If you chose card one with the rose quartz, let's see what Source is saying about your particular twin flame situation. And so the Emperor card comes up, um, and it's inverted. So this just shows, like, the major um, energy here is release of control, okay? Um, release of taking that space where you feel like you can wield someone's emotions and this is very interesting because some of us have in fact are right now this is this is for those who are right now involved in what they feel is a twin flame connection okay um we've all heard of how the twin flames push and pull each other and part of that is due to the fact that there's a cleansing going on. A cleansing of control issues. A cleansing of how you feel you can influence someone else's feelings, someone else's emotions, or what they do. Um, this is about 
Like your connection with your twin flame is mirroring to you right now that you need to learn to live in the moment and accept that whatever needs to happen for your change and growth is definitely taking place. Um, but you forgot that months ago you said that you weren't going to try to control it and that you were embracing true unconditional love. Well, now your twin flame has magnified that choice to you, okay? Because you do want to influence them in a particular way. But you're struggling with the fact that you know that part of your spiritual growth is releasing those controls. You want to let go sometimes and this is why you want to run or walk away very quickly. Okay, but at the end of the day, with this card, Source is saying unconditional love, unconditional love. You know, we need our rose quartz to support us in that. And, you know, this is also showing us that we haven't done as much self-work love as we thought we had done because we thought we were at a point where we could say, you know what? I love myself more than anyone. And being able to release and let go of attachments is more important to myself. You know, for or to reach that optimum spiritual growth, okay, where I want to be. So this is about just releasing control and really being able to grasp the unconditional love of the universe, okay? Now, this doesn't mean that you will be without your twin flame. But what this does mean is that you shouldn't be so attached to your twin flame that it's causing you to regress on spiritual levels. And it's also telling you that control is not as important as release okay so if you chose card one that is your twin flame reading okay if you are not in your twin flame relationship you can look forward to this sort of condition um taking precedence in your twin flame relationship for at least a year okay until you figure out how you can let go okay and this isn't saying that you're letting go of the person but you're letting go of the need to control what they do whether or not they're going to respond to you in certain ways or not okay so that is the reading for card one as a matter of fact, I'm just going to leave that turned over so we can be reminded of releasing controls and unconditional love, okay? So, now I'm going to give the reading or channeling for card two. This is for your twin flame reading, okay? If you chose card two and you got the hanged man... I mean, this is like, I feel like this is a time loop. Like, this is six, six, stating something about two people constantly living in the past. They're suspended in time, okay? And with the hangman, okay, usually being upside down, isn't really an ideal or comfortable space, okay? Um, sometimes, and it doesn't have to be a twin flame relationship, but in a normal relationship, you can keep experiencing a time loop, okay? Time loop. Um, I refer to time loops as moments where you just keep going through the same thing over and over again with that person and nothing is changing. And so now you're at a point and you're thinking to yourself, you're thinking really hard. 
okay? What do I need to do to change the situation? Okay, what do I need to do to change the situation? Twin flame relationships are really hard because it's like that person is an individual mirror of what you are. So they bring things to the surface or to your face that are so real. And it kind of throws you for a loop, okay? Because you're like, wait a minute. I thought I dealt with this. I, I thought I was able to, you know, be mature about a situation. Um, but now everything's turned upside down. And I'm wondering, is this really something that I've conquered? Or is this person here because the universe has sent me a sign? That I still have work to do. So I can kind of put my ego down for a little while. Okay. So I can see what I need to do to understand the dynamics and the interaction that need to be played out here. So that I can win. This is what's going on. And this is a time loop because it's like, even though you might argue about a different topic or subject, it's like the same process, you know, is the outcome. And you're like, wait a minute. I never, I didn't get anywhere with that. Okay, I didn't get anywhere. So here's where Source is, you know, really saying um, to use that relationship to really become an overcomer, okay? Um, whether that's in love, okay? Or whether that's in figuring out how to release yourself from time loops, okay? Time loops. Going back and forth or around in circles to where you never feel like you're actually progressing or getting anywhere, okay? And it's like you've got good ideas. It's flowing through you. It's running through you. But at the same time, you're missing a component. You're going, you know, east, west, and south. But there's no north, okay? Even when you feel like it is. Like you feel like you've gained some kind of victory. And then... Lo and behold, you realize it was only for a week or it was only for two weeks, okay? So this card here, I feel like this is about time for you and being able to release yourself from going around in circles, like moving on, like. You want to get past that stage where you're just a little toddler and you want to go ahead and move up to the point where, you know, you're actually in nursery school with your twin flame and, you know, you guys are moving beyond just the mundane type of interaction, okay? Um, so, with, you know, the bloodstone, this is a really psychic stone, and, you know, it helps to connect us on a spirit level. So, I feel like this card is really telling you that you need to come out of your material existence and maybe do a magic spell where you guys can be connected in the spiritual realm and look more at how you guys are can help each other progress on a spiritual level and kind of focus more on that aspect of the relationship, okay? So that was the reading I channeled for Source, if you chose card two. And the last card, this is card three. Oh, this is the sun card. 
Um, and then we have clear quartz. I feel like this card is for those of us who are moving into the next stage with our twin flame relationship. And what I mean by the next stage is you're not quite at the happily ever after, but you're working through some issues. For this card, I kind of see that you guys feel like, you know, you won't be able to live without each other. And so you create extensions of each other. Even if it's not a child, it's an idea or it's a spark of knowledge or light. Um, and the relationship is really about mission. Um, it's really about being here with them in this moment in time for a specific goal, okay? And it's a very high goal for you both as well as other people, okay? Um, I really feel like this card is pinpointing growth for you. Um, and riding out on new adventures, okay? So this Twin Flame um, card is for those who, you know, you are not experiencing a lot of grief and trauma in your Twin Flame relationship. It's actually at a stage where it's really growing and you see a lot of potential, okay? Um... And you guys are being a charge to one another. Um, this is really rare. And I would say that, you know, this is the true twin flame union um, where there is actually, like, you've confirmed that you're actually a twin flame. This isn't speculation, okay? You've actually did the work to confirm it. And I also feel like this shows, like, just a happy celebration, okay, of being able to reach your spiritual heights, okay? In our spiritual life, sometimes we need to become like a child so we can be open, and receptive and be able to receive that which the universe has in store for us okay I really feel like this card is saying to you're using your twin flame to tap into your higher mind and get more light okay so if you chose this card this is basically showing that you and your twin flame are experiencing um, a heightened level of being able to connect and use that for more spiritual growth, okay? Using that for more goal-oriented or more goal-oriented endeavors, okay? Using it to encourage other people, manifest, and you're just progressing, okay? You're growing. You're, you're charging one another up. The relationship is actually come in to do um, a very good cleansing work for you. Okay? So, if you chose this card, I mean, this is just like showing a really great outcome of what you and your twin flame combined are doing okay this is not stress this is not strife this isn't time loops or releasing control but this is actually becoming really more balanced with the universe through that relationship and if you're not doing that now I would encourage you to look at the different aspects of the relationship not just you know a union but look at the emotional aspects. Look at the physical aspects. Look at the spiritual aspects. Look at the psychic aspects, okay? 
This is also for the psychic um, twin flames where your gifts are enhanced by one another. Maybe you were, you know, just imbalanced with your empathic abilities. And now your twin flame has brought that balance back into your life where you're able to be an empath. But you're okay with it and you're able to use it in a more positive direction and not allow energy vampires to attach to you and drain your energy, okay? So, those are the twin flame readings for today and, of course, with the clear quartz. Once again, this is just showing how your twin flame has given you a charge, okay, of energy, that you can use to amplify everything spiritual that you need to in your life right now. Your meditations, your devotions, your reflections. Okay? So that's it for today's Twin Flame reading. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. And... If you would like a more personal reading to know where you are personally with your twin flame journey or where you want to be or go, you're welcome to reach out and contact me at any time and I'll be glad to give you a personal reading, okay? Thank you so much and once again, if this resonated with you, be sure to like and subscribe for more on my channel.